guys. I hope you all had a great weekend. We had a nice weekend around here, and I wanted to tell you about some of the fun we had on Saturday. We decided it was a beautiful, sunshiny day, pretty warm. It was, I think, around 60 degrees here. And so our family decided we would go down, go, go down south. That's what we call it around here. And um, about an hour to an hour and a half south of where we live is the Shawnee National Forest, a very, very, very tiny little town on the Ohio River called Cave and Rock. Lots of fun, beautiful, beautiful scenery. When you drive through this park, it's it's uphill, and there's picnic areas that overlook the Ohio River. You're like way up high over the river, and it's just really pretty. You can, of course, have a picnic and just watch the water and enjoy the beautiful scenery. There's a cave there that my kids have always just loved to go to, it's in the face of the bluff. It can only be seen in, um, from, the, from the river. And now they have stairways carved into the sandstone that go down, 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 down. And then you have to walk a walkway like around in, to get into the cave. And it was a famous hideout for robbers and thieves and outlaws. Jesse James has been known to, to have used this cave. One of the Davy Crockett movies that had Fess Parker playing the part of Davy Crockett was actually filmed at Cave and Rock. Well, we got there Saturday, and it's not as pretty, of course, because we had the beautiful sunshine and the nice warm temperatures, but spring hasn't sprung yet, so everything still looks wintry and dead and brown. Anyway, we got there, and there was terrible flooding to the point the cave was flooded. You couldn't even get all the way down to the base of the stairwell because of the flooding. So we didn't get to go in the cave, but we did have a picnic on the bluffs over the Ohio River. And I've got some video clips of that that I'm gonna share here in a minute with you all. A river barge went by with full of coal, just things like that were, were kind of nice to just get out and enjoy nature after the winter we've had and the year we've had with COVID and, and all of that. It just felt so good to be outside and breathing fresh air and enjoying the sunshine. I would say that to everyone, no matter where you live, find a place, get out in nature and just someplace beautiful and peaceful where you can just breathe deep <laughs> and feel that fresh air. I tell you what, that was, that was such a good day. It was, it was healing, you know, it was just really a good, a good day. After we had our picnic, we went to um, the Shawnee National Forest. I think it's about eight miles from Cave and Rock, maybe 11 miles. I'm not, not very far. Okay. And we got there and, um, this great big rock formations. But, and I just wanted to tell you just a little bit about our weekend and how, how nice it was to just get out in, in the outdoors and enjoy some fresh air and some sunshine after a long winter. It was, it was great. And I would recommend it for all of you guys. Um, that we got home that night and my husband cooked burgers on the grill and we played rummy and just, it was just a nice relaxing day. And that, that was wonderful. So I'll show you the video clip and next time you guys have a day off, get out there and enjoy the sunshine and the, the spring that's almost here. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.
up on the right. Yeah. Is it right? I can't find it. <laughs> There's the, the ceiling of the cave. And then you, there's a stairs, a lot of stairs actually. You walk down and around and the cave is below us. But we think it's flooded to the point we can't go to the cave. You can't see it from here. That's what makes it so cool. But there's the top of the ceiling of the cave. The entrance, the entrance comes right out, the mouth of the cave comes right out on the water. But it's flooded really bad. The cave's probably full of water today. There's Melody. And Jonathan. Ooh, the sun shines bright. Going down to see the water? Yeah. Jonathan was really wanting to see the cave today, but I'm just sure it's full of water. Brent's walking that way. Gonna see. I bet it's flooded, sure as the world. There's Amy, so pretty. We're high above the Ohio River and across the way is Kentucky. There's quite a bit of flooding over there as well. Yeah, it looks like a big load of coal on that barge. Large full of coal. Yeah. Love it. On our way to the Garden of the Gods, it's such a pretty day. This road is so pretty. Sometimes if you're not careful, you can about get car sick on this road.